get ready. Um, what's going on? What's going on? Peace, peace. Yes, peace, peace. We're peace. on um, Luke. Ample Challenge 180 after show. Um, yeah. 180 weeks. One hundred weeks, one hundred and eighty. That's just crazy, insane. But we're recording right now, and we got last week's winner in here, and his mic's muted. I don't know if he knows it or not. Um, but let's let's set it off. I mean, the brother was just in here, um. So I mean, I don't know if he's gonna jump back in or not. But let's um take it to um number six. Who was number six? Six was Lincoln Rossi. Um, and I just like the uh the feel of that one. A nice energy. On board. He um. He was just in here. I don't know if he's gonna come back. He doesn't speak English, but I don't know if Rock. I'll get Rocco one time. Rocco want to read what he says. Uh, I'm from the Sao Carlo Sao City. Sao City. Sao Paulo State. State in Brazil. I've been mm. in beat since 2005 using the MPC Renaissance, and he started in Sample Challenge 70. Yep. Lincoln nice. Rossi, yo. Lincoln Rossi. I'm gonna be ill reading off the teleprompter when I go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hopefully he come back in here. I'll see what he look like. Um, you know, he was in here. I mean, he doesn't speak English. Shout out to to you, Lincoln Rossi. Respect, brother. You're in yes. there. You're number six. Who's number five? Five was uh, Mr. Derek Halcom, aka the Beats. Beats. Man, yeah, that's Beats. Beats. He's been he's been a regular lately, man. Oh, yeah. So just another one, you know. It was a nice beat, man. I, I love the mix on it, man. The depth of it was really nice sounding, man. The headphones. Yeah, so. them drums was hard, Good work, though. man. Yeah. Thank you. You've been real consistent. I just want to say this shit killed your last week's beat. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate it. it up. <laughs> you know. I don't think he said. But I just think he's been. I think he's always stepped up and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, but sometimes yeah. you know what I'm saying. I just I I noticed the difference. I was like, okay, yeah, it's hard, but then you came with it. It's just like ah, oh, this shit was tough. It you know was dope. Saying? Appreciate it. Yeah, the beats is no joke, for real. Definitely. <laughs> Me and Doc, we talking about the beats, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I felt the wrath of the beats on the beat conductors. Took me out oh. first round with ease. <laughs> ah. It happened. It could have gone either way, man. It's fine. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, bless them. Listen, the, the level of consistency is real, let me tell you. <laughs> Appreciate it. So, um, who, because I know Beats already came, I mean, Beats, you can tell me where you're from again. This is like your like six after show, right? Like, so you, you got something. Um, to yeah, you want something to say to people? Go ahead, say something. Um, I've been using Koala a lot lately. It's pretty awesome. Um, but no, just um, I'm I'm just thankful to be around such uh, talented individuals every week. Um, during this whole pandemic and everything, you know, being online has really been like key to like the progression as far as creativity and everything like that. Not like, again, like everybody on here, everybody that went this week was just fire. So I'm just happy to be in the room at the moment. Yes, sir. Definitely. That's what's up. Speaking of that, who was number four? Four ain't in here. That was Morton Berg. Um, his was all the vibes, man, including the vibraphone sounds, man, on that shit. It was just a feel good right. track. I really enjoyed that one a lot. It, it stood out to me. Yeah, the thing about Berg too. Berg, Berg told me he couldn't make it because he said he's out like in a log cabin somewhere and he doesn't sure the Wi-Fi is gonna work. But he said he appreciates it. You know, he doesn't know where he is. Like none of y'all know where you are till you get in here. You know what I'm saying? Um. So who was number three? Number three. Um. Don't come around too often, man, on the joints. But he got in this week and, and killed it, man. Uh, Mr. Wade Ray, aka New Jerusalem. That's what's up, man. Thank you, thank yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, I like that beat a lot, man. Yo, I hey. like, I like, don't know if it's New Jerusalem or do I say 66 books or do I say Wade Raven? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, I mean, Wade, Wade is cool. Wade is cool. But yeah, New Jerusalem. That, that'd be so my I stage was, name. I so. was watching a video like from you like a couple years ago and I realized you was rhyming. You was wearing a producer's corner hoodie. I remember you did it then, but then I saw it because you know how it pops up in your YouTube? 
I'm like, oh yeah. shit, I forgot he was wearing the hoodie when he was rhyming on that shit. Yeah, you know, yeah, 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 you know, yeah. I, yeah. I, I, I don't like it, but I respect it how y'all cats be taking hiatuses and then y'all come in and y'all just get a quick placement real quick. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, life, life, life took me through some ter- journeys right there. So, you know what I mean? I was just, I was just trying to break back into my norm. Wave was in the, was in like last week or the week before too. You was in a right? Are you? Yeah, he was in here not too long ago. Yeah, yeah, probably like two weeks ago. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. So, boy, let him know where you're from. Man, right now I'm in Atlanta, Maryland. You know what I mean? Right outside of DC. I'm getting ready to go to work but during the night shift. Um, yeah. So I've been here, PG, Uptown DC. Montgomery County, this area. All right, where um, how long you been making beats for? I know you rap too. How long you been? Yeah, I started like in '91. Oh, oh yeah. I, you're ahead of me. Like, yeah, it, I mean, cause I, I started rhyming back in '86. Then I realized I needed some beats, so I just started making my own beats. That's they was how corny. But, so, um, how, how, what do you use to make beats? Uh, right now, everything is Studio One. Chop the sample up, Studio One. Play the instruments, Studio One. Bunch of VSTs, you know what I mean? Um, uh, been cheating with Serato, getting lazy, chopping it up. But I find my ch- chops in the Serato D, uh, sampler. Um, man. All right. What what sample challenge did you get in with us when you first started? I... I want to. I want to say it was in the 30s or the late 20s. Yeah, because you were early with us, man. Yeah, it's some, some, early. something like that. I kind of, I kind of forgot. I think it was about two years ago, though. Felt like, yeah. yeah. That's dope, man. It's dope to see you back in. Hopefully, you stay with us in here. You know what I'm saying? That'd be well, I try. I try. I try. I try. That's what's up, bro. All right. So, who was number two? Damn, between number two and number one, man, that one uh, initially felt like it was going to be a tough call, man. And then, uh, you know, had to rethink it, and it became obviously clear, easy choice of which was which. But uh, this beat, man, was definitely super clean and and also nasty as fuck. That was uh, Mr. Doc Spliff. I don't know his real name. So (laughs) so I think something like Gabe. Gabe something, I don't know. But Doc Spliff. (laughs) Doc, this is your first time in the government. I know where you're from, but let them know where you're from. Yeah, yeah I'm, uh, um, I'm over here out of Connecticut, um, aka uh, home team. Um, <laughs> Ooh, to the home team. Huh? Uh, yeah, Doc, so. know, how long you been making beats for? I want to say at least. Mm. Close to fifteen years now. About. What do you use? I use a uh, machine, the little mixture of everything. Um, I got uh, Logic FL. Um, I don't really mess with Ableton too much, but I got Ableton Lite if it means anything. But uh, <laughs> but in the meantime, between some, I, I mainly do like most of my arranging and all that stuff in um in machine. Hey, uh, Doc Swift, uh, give us a little sauce, man. What's that number one plug-in? And I, and I definitely feel weight on that, too. I'll be cheating with Serato sample from time to time. <laughs> uh, hey, she said, what, what's, what's your number one plug-in, Doc? That's what you're saying. Uh, the number one plug-in. I don't know. Honestly, I got too many. That's a, that, that, that's a tough call. He's lying. Give us the um, sauce, baby. Come on. Yeah, I... I uh, one of the things I really like to clean up audio is uh, is the uh, RX by Isotope. I got RX8. Man, you could really just clean up, take out percussion, do all kinds of stuff, emphasize just the bass in a sample. Mm-hmm. I mean, any of these other DAWs, you can do it, you know, via EQ, other VSTs, but R- RX is a whole nother, whole nother beast. I have it. I've never used it. Yeah. It's extremely surgical, and you can take out little blips and pops and crackles and all that. Like if you want, you know, if you're going for the cleaner sound and all that. So, mm. yeah, it's definitely like uh, been my go-to lately. Well, what you what's yeah. the sample challenge you got in with us? Yeah. Do you remember? 
Can you hear me, Doc? Nah. What'd you say? I said, what sample? What sample did you um? Did you get in with us? What ch sample challenge? Oh, I, I jumped in at, at around sample challenge forty. Oh, okay. All right. So going to this week's winner. Who's this week's winner, Phil? Man, this one got to the damn. This beat had me right off the bat. Like, what the fuck is this shit? I, it was just, it was crazy, man. That shit was, it was stupid as fuck. And uh, yeah, man, love Jones. Man. Fuck, killed that shit. That beat was, was insane, man. <laughs> Everything I, I about it. it the first half had that energy, and the second came with that smooth shit that just, it could have been, you know, it could have been one, two, three, four, and five, man. No offense to nobody else in here, but that, that shit was nasty as fuck. I so, appreciate it. Congratulations. That. Thank you, man. What's up? That's what's up. You got anything you want to say to the people of Love Jones? You be getting in all these episodes every man, week. <laughs> it, honestly, man, sitting here with y'all, it, it don't matter what place I got just to be sitting here. I mean, Doc Spliff, I gave him a 10 this week, dude. He was my pick. Uh, shit, dude, there's so many people that ain't even sitting here right now that I thought was dope, you know? Like, yeah. Uh, so I agree. I, I appreciate you, brother. Salute. You know what? You know, and, 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 and real quick, if I can interject, I'll, I'll, I mean, you know, what I mean, respectfully, I'm not trying to steal the stage right now, but I was actually talking to Essence, and your name was the first name that came out of my mouth this week. I was like, "Yo, did you hear Love Jones? Uh, Love Jones's joint?" I was Man. like, "God damn, that shit was crazy." So that, so that that's that's kind of crazy, man. I, I really appreciate the love, honestly. Dude. It was, it was too good, man. I was like, I was just got done grocery shopping. Go, I, I could, I couldn't even pull out of the parking lot when your beat came on. I was like, shit, man. Like I was feeling good about mine too until I heard Jerry's. I was like, Pfft. that's the same exact <laughs> shit I said, yo. That's the same shit I said. That's funny as hell. I was like, yo, I was like, yo, Love Jones's joint was just bananas. I was, he knocked that shit out of the universe. I was mm -hmm. like. <laughs> I mean, I got to admit, Phil, man, um, Phil, he was my inspiration on that last part. I know that's what he likes, and uh, I'm starting to dig it a lot more, too. It, every week, I, found, I find someone that does something that, I, that inspires me. So next week, I'm coming with something, you know, my version of that. That's what I'm doing. Well, that's what's up. Rocco. So, yeah, um, yeah, salute to you, Love Jones. Um, Thank you, Rocco. I, I, I got I to gotta stop acting like I ain't make no beat this week, so I, I was able to come in and get a drop on a few of you guys. Your shit from the jump was dope. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, okay. <laughs> if nobody picked Love Jones, Love Jones could be the one. Um, <coughs> my pick was Essence. And I admit, when I went to Essence, it was a different type of Essence. And when I heard it today, I was like, damn, okay. <laughs> uh, you know what I'm saying? It took me somewhere else. So I actually heard it twice, and then I was convinced that that shit was tough. You know Appreciate you. Word up. So yeah, honorable mention right uh, there. Yeah, but you know, I got to go with mine. You know, the brother that's in here, who is one of the illest fucking scratchers in producer's corner that I've known and shit. Mr. Tudor Loki's Artifacts, man. Artifacts. Your beat was crazy to me. I mean, salute to you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really like you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. 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 Yo, know, salute to you, Tudor, man. I really like your beat. You know what I mean? I like that. I like I like how you put your scratches in there too. So I'm a DJ, you know. So salute to you, man. You're my pick. You know what I'm saying? Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. Really dope. Stress man. when stress ain't around, yo. I'm recruiting you, man. To come. <laughs> Definitely though, man. Yo, the beat the beat was dope too. The break that I liked it the whole shit. I mean, like I said, there's a whole lot of dope beats this week and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. My I know. I know now now that that Love Jones is like, damn, I gotta judge again and shit. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> and they get it gets easy. harder every time. Yeah. No, he, he's, he's, he's he's been there. He can tell us. You, but he, he must know what you lose. Right, all right. I'm so no, they were in, they were in previous like recent one, but he can. Doug Jones, you want to know him? Which let him know what you use. And... Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, yeah, FL I Studio. Have I have an old Studio Logic MIDI board. Yeah. Got a computer. I use a lot of plugins. So uh, 
I yeah, offset give us that. that sauce, baby. Give us the sauce. What is it? Oh, <laughs> shit. What? I'll tell you what I use on every track. I use Fab Filter Saturn 2. Uh, almost everything you click on in that is dope. I mean, well, we want receipts. We want a screenshot. Let's, let's, <laughs> let me see the master track, baby. Come hey, I, I chop all my samples in Adobe Audition. I put them yeah, in yeah. Fruity Loops. Every key on my 88 keyboard as a sample. You, you know, use Adobe yeah. Audition too? Man, Man. Fuck, since like 99. I still use Adobe Audition too, man. It's it's like once I started chopping in that, it was just I'm so swift in it. Yeah, oh, I've been yeah. like since what like oh three, oh four, or something like that. And then it finally came out on the back. I was like, oh it's a wrap. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, I had that shit too, and I never I had Adobe uh, Premiere the whole thing. This, this like, what it used to be called, I can't remember now. Um damn. I got that's a trivia question. Oh god, I'm gonna remember it too. It's not Adobe, yeah. it was uh cool edit, cool edit, cool pro. edit, cool, cool edit, edit pro. Pro. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think everybody I knew had the same crack version. Yeah. <laughs> by the same license like to the T I was like that is crazy because I remember hearing Knife Wonder uh, originally used it right. and the Fruity Loops you know and you heard what he made so it was like oh okay right yeah that's what's up man yeah, yeah. yeah the backtrack um, Essence what do you use definitely um, you know uh, and waves and isotope and you know, the, the, I don't know. I've been using that uh, EQ in the Slate Digital. Um, nice. I just picked those up. Yo. yo there's, you know, Doc, Doc put me onto it. He's like, hey, yo, I know you got that. I know you got that extra stimulus check. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, you know, I got this. You're trying to spend your money already. <laughs> well, he said, he said, Maybe I can't. Pulling up to Amazon <laughs> joints. He's like, yo, this is this right here. This is what you, yo, you know, I just, I ran with it, you know, and uh, there's, there's all sorts of tools, uh, Serato sample, um, you know, uh, just, just all sorts of different stuff to, to make your shit sound phenomenal, man. Like, uh, yeah. oh, you know, you know, it's crucial. Uh, I don't know. I just been starting to use like BU meters a little yep. more. Yeah. Seriously, you yeah, know, what does that do? You talking about the plugin? Because well, I have that shit. Well, yeah, because it's like the VU is on a 300 millisecond delay, so like it perceives the loudness of the track, like of the sound, you right? Know? So when you compare, yeah, like, I thought that was just to look at it when it was moving the kick and, and the bass, like when they're together, all of a sudden you see it blowing off the charts, and you're like, all right, you know, it's, it just helps me dial shit back because. When I'm like me, like I be telling Doc, like when I'm listening to stuff, like I want shit the loudest it could be. You know what I mean? And, yeah, that's how and, I am too. Yeah, yeah. And it just it just helps you, you know, visualize and like you know, see and hear things a little bit better. You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, stuff like that, man. You know, th this track that I was working on, I took like five different tracks. I'd never done that before. Like, took five different tracks and tried to piece them together. So. You know, with the time frame, you know, I was taking extra breaks, you know what I mean? And like coming back to it, like, all right, damn, all right. But but that's what you need to do sometimes is take that break and come back, listen to what you did and then how, how to fix it and how to, you know. Yeah, what, yeah what, that ear fatigue is real, especially after having like long sessions. Like I actually spent a lot of time with this beat. I made the beats pretty quickly, but I spent a lot of time just listening. I'd listen for like an hour and make one edit. You know what I mean? Like I was, I would like dial back in like a, a triangle or a ride or something like that. You know what I mean? Or like, oh wait a minute, let me uh, let me nudge over this one snare. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like little tiny. Like I made the arrangement pretty quickly. You know what I mean? And then uh, from there. But the interesting fact, though, I just want to throw in, and I'm actually kind of embarrassed about it, is uh, is I did the vocals on the second track. So we're supposed to use all our instruments at our disposal. So I said, fuck it. I'm going to try to harness the, the inner 70s funk in me. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just and perform the vocals. That's what's up, man. Yeah, yeah I've, been, I've been making since uh, 02. 
oh two and uh you know what about four you know yeah, something like that but uh yeah I've been I've been running with it man um I'm having fun with it. Yeah Doc got you back in he told me he's like yo it's uh, yeah. yeah yeah it's man and this community is cool because like yo I'd be some real official. You were here when it was during the I be hearing some stuff that be moving me and like you know inspiring me to do bigger and better things, you right? Know, being more ambitious and and, and so <laughs> we, uh, uh, you know what's this? What do they say? Like vulnerable? Like when you hear people singing, they're like, oh, you know, the judges they're like, oh, you were very vulnerable with that, like you know. <laughs> And it's like, oh, why, why, why you want to be vulnerable? But it's like, you know, you're just thinking outside the box and trying to do different shit. You know what I mean? Like, yep. yeah, about you know, this this track was like, I was just having fun with it, man. And Doc was, like, uh, yo, it, it sounded like, it, it sounded like you didn't know which track to pick. And I was like, man, I just, you know, wanted to throw all the best elements together and just try to blend them in. So, hell know, yeah. I'm glad to be in this room. I appreciate that. I like the Doc Smith hiatus because he came back, bass lines. And he did that last time, that too. Shit. He came back and did you know some what I'm saying? Shit. Yo, them snares riding. Yeah. Dude, this beat was nuts. Riding, bro. Now, yeah. I, I told him, I did say it on the show, and then I know it's I know it's a true fact. You've been working a fucking lot, and you weren't doing that before, so now you don't have time to do it like you did before and shit. So. Yeah, yeah. Like, my, uh, with the whole pandemic, you kind of, like, displace the job situation so i had a lot more like free time to to, to get down on shit we heard about it bro you you, know. <laughs> you said you were on only fans doc That's what you said. Oh. <laughs> yeah yeah you know what i'm saying yeah I, I mean i had to make it work you know what i'm saying it's the definition of work right there <laughs> yeah. Yeah. baby girl gonna whoop your ass bro. yeah man just listen listen <laughs> It's 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 a it's a sprayed on six pack. All right, just know that. <laughs> Unless you're on there with you now. <laughs> so, yeah. All right, so yeah, so I'm buying your OnlyFans. I let you brothers go, man. <laughs> Congratulations, Love Jones. We will see you. Yeah. Next. I get stressed around. Nah, nah, yeah, because I got I got to post nah, this. You know what I mean? And then and then I mean, anybody got any ideas for next week? I, I'd hit me as soon as possible. Bill said he might have something. We don't know yet. We're gonna have it, but I'm trying to have it up like by tonight. You know what I'm saying? By the time I post this. But thank you, brothers, man. Y'all did dope. Y'all was dope. And same much shout out to everybody else who got in. All the other 60 producers or 50 something producers. Shout out to every single body. We appreciate it. Some people come in. Like shout out to ZPU Zilla for coming back. And there's been other people that can come back and they, you know, sometimes will disappear. Um, yeah, yeah, but there was a lot of a lot of a lot of dope it was heavy. Stuff. It was heavy this week. So right. yeah. Definitely. And, you see yeah. you know, producers that like you know when they started, you could tell, but now you see the the growth of them. You know what I'm saying? As they keep getting in these challenges, you know what I mean? A hundred, yeah, that's what it's all about learning they off each other because you know what I mean. And then it love makes Jones said it best, man. yeah, he think I think of something about you. That's what it's all about. Yeah, Love Jones, you targeted the 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 judge. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what I got out. Of I it. cornered him a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I I feel love Jones on that because the first beat I did was inspired by Phil too. You know what I'm saying? It was kind of like an ode to his style because like he never right. hears me make beats like that. And I like I got a bunch in a vault like that. I just never put them out. You know what I mean? So it's like I was like, you know what? It's time to finesse something for for the sample challenge just for Phil's liking. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, he's crazy dope to begin with, so I mean, yeah. He took Doc out in the what's it called, right? In the head to head, was it Phil? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, like I, I went from taking. You said you didn't try that time, but you know you don't want to make an excuse and shit. <laughs> no, no, I mean, I mean, an L is an L because I didn't try with Soul City either, and I ended up beating Soul City, which like I was shocked because I'm like, yo, I put in absolute like a whole two hours worth of effort. You know what I mean? And um, I don't know. And Soul City had a banger. You know what I mean? Like, it's just it's just weird. And the whole judging shit is weird. And you know what I'm saying? So it's like uh, on any given day, every every day we wake up, we wake up with a different vibe, a different type of energy. So shit could hit you differently. 
Like you can go back to something. And, and that's another thing too about like flash listening to something. When you listen to something like the first time, and then you compare it to something else. The last thing you listen to is usually like the most, most prominent, the so most present. You know what I mean? So like, that's what's cool about the sample challenge. Like once you get like a top 10 or a top 15 and start narrowing it down, you can almost do little mini battles with, with people. You know what I'm saying? Like when you have people jockeying for the same spot, like you would like, damn, um, first and second, you know, you start breaking it down into these mini brackets and shit like that. And sometimes it all, it goes all the way down to like, if it, if the mix was on point and all the other shit is on point or whatever, sometimes it literally boil down to, Oh, well, that one little part of the sample was a millisecond off. Like sometimes it'd be that crazy <laughs> trying to, you know what I mean? Like um, when you just talk about like, you know, somebody really perfecting th their work. Yeah, man. Definitely. Nowadays, I think the mix is crucial, man. Uh, before I, you know, you, you shut us down, stress. Uh, you know, uh, I, I just, I just, I just hope like, you know, the, the other producers in the, in the community just, you know, start paying attention to the mix. Cause you know, that made me like want to get better. It's like, yo, how can, how come shit can't sound like as good as a just blaze or or right. or, or the beats like yo that, that track like three or or you know what i mean or or fills or, or docs like you know what i mean it's it's all about consistency in my book you know what i mean so um yeah just that's what it is man make oh, yeah. like it i gotta go to school <laughs> yo <laughs> Yo, anybody who uses machine, man, you're more than welcome to hit me up in the inbox, man. But like, that's why when you ask about the plugins, I kind of don't. It's and I'm not a stingy person. I'll tell you everything I know. Like, I like that's how, I like how 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 Love Jones came out. He's like, listen, I'll tell you everything. I'm the same way, and I turn into kind of a salesman. So and and I've got, I got a lot of people, you know, what I'm saying, um, give me shit about that. <laughs> so I try to leave, you know, what I mean, for like the in short. So, like situations like this or whatever is uh, I don't know I can get real long winded about the whole VST game yeah but um <laughs> but but in terms of that though yeah like uh there's there's one thing that's probably the worst thing you could be in my opinion is a stingy ass producer because I mean at the end of the day everybody's gonna flip the shit different and the sample challenge is is, is proof of that proof. you know what I mean no matter what your skill set is everybody's gonna come with some different shit so it, it don't matter mm -hmm. Y'all better, y'all better than me in my thinking, cause you literally gotta sit down with me and get the, whatever I do out of me. You gotta sit down with me and I get my secrets. I'm not really just giving my secrets out there, cause that's just how I was brought up in my fucking dumbass era. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, I was too, but I mean it's different now. I mean. I know no one's going to do exactly what I do regardless, man. But the beautiful thing about now versus even back in the day is the fact that the number of resources we all have. And yes. the fact that you can have plugins in the world, but like, again, they, they got joints like Koala out now. And I've heard like amazing, amazing stuff come out of that. And I'm just like, you know, and in, in, at the end of the day, the one thing you can't steal from somebody or even like teach somebody is bounce or rhythm. Like everybody yeah. has Wow. So you can have all the sounds in the world and you can give them to everybody or the sample challenges and everything. And everybody's just going to have a different bounce fundamentally. That's not even including the mixes. So. Right. Hey, man behind the mix. That's, uh, that, that, that's definitely real right there. And, um, you know, I, I, I can definitely uh, I identify with that. And I think, you, you know what that comes with, um, uh, Love Jones, is confidence in yourself. Cause at some point you're like, man, it don't even matter. And not for nothing. It's not fun when, when, you know what I'm saying? When you're constantly being hailed as dope and all this other shit or whatever. And like, it's lonely at the top type of shit. You know what I mean? Like not, not to sound arrogant, you know what I mean? But like, it's like, well, what kind of fun is that? You know what I'm saying? It's not, you're not challenging yourself if you're not helping the people around you get better. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Because they teach you things too. You feel what I mean? So oh, it's yeah. just like, Definitely. Um, that, that's been the, the, the back and forth combo of me and Essence for years now. You know what I'm saying? Like one of us is always taking the driver's seat. You know what I mean? And like, and that's one of the things like I really love and appreciate uh, about, about our friendship is that like we both met, we both made each other what we are today. You know what I'm saying? Oh, like yeah. musically. Definitely. Definitely. Much agreed. Yeah. 
Well, you guys are right, dope, well, so. I'm going to let you guys leave. Yeah, I'm going to end this so we can get the next sample challenge up to see you yeah, guys. Yeah, all, man. All y'all even watching, all y'all in next week. You know what I'm saying? It was a great after show. Good convo. I appreciate yeah, yeah. you all. Yeah, Chris, man, much, much love and respect you to y'all, man. All right. All right, brothers. Peace, man. Peace. 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 Now. <laughs>